Since the early days of C-Line, CMake has been the IDE's primary project model. In the 2021.2 version, this support got a massive update in order to keep it aligned with the ongoing CMake evolution. Let's see what it brings. CMake version 3.20 brings many improvements for C++ developers and is now bundled in C-Line. It's the first release that introduces C++ 23 compiler modes. The CMake file API has been improved and the changes are now supported in C-Line, which relies on the CMake file API to collect project information. CMake 3.20 also brings support for many new compilers, like the NVIDIA High Performance Computing Kit, Intel LVM and IRSTM8. But the most exciting update is a brand new CMake Presets feature. It addresses the common need to share the CMake build configuration settings with other people. There are two new CMake files you can add to your project configuration. CMakePresets.json and CMakeUserPresets.json, which allow users to specify common configuration options and share them with others. If present, these files should be located in the project root directory. If you open a project with CMake preset files in CLine 2021.2, the ID will automatically load the build presets and store all their settings in CMake profiles. The CMake profile entity is generally very similar to CMake presets, but it is a bit more specific to the CLine IDE itself. For example, it's linked to the CLine toolchain. CLine currently supports only version 2 presets and build presets. CLine will keep presets that you import in this way for the first time disabled by default. If you've previously loaded and enabled a particular preset, it will be enabled when you load it again. All previously loaded presets that are not present in the preset.json files are removed from the CLine configuration. These profiles will be read-only, so you can't update preset settings from the CLine CMake Profiles UI. However, you can still open JSON files in the editor and update them there. When you added cmakepresses.json and cmakeuserpresses.json in CLine or externally, CLine tracks the changes and suggests reloading the presets. Click Reload Changes to get the new changes immediately in CLine. Alternatively, you can load CMake presets by using an ID action. Load CMake Presets. It displays the list of all built presets detected so you can select one or several presets to load into CLine. The Reload CMake action will also load the presets for you. As the name suggests, CMake Presets JSON is meant to save project wide builds and can be stored in version control and shared with others, while CMake User Presses JSON allows developers to save their own local builds and should stay as a local file. We've already mentioned in CLine, CMake profiles are linked to a CLine toolchain. For CMake profiles originating from CMake Presses, this toolchain will be the CLine default. But you can also specify any particular toolchain you have in CLine and want to link to. Let's update our default local preset. To configure the toolchain, use the vendor-specific field jetbrains.com slash cline in the configurer preset. Rely on code completion. For example, I use my remote Ubuntu toolchain for the preset in cline.
So here we are. Check out CLine's online documentation for more information on CMake Preset support. In the next CLine versions, we'll definitely continue working on CMake Presets and will improve your experience further. New CMake Project Templates When creating a new CMake project in CLine via the new project wizard, CLine suggests a few predefined options. You can create a C or C library or executable a new Qt-based project or a Qt library or executable. In all of these cases, the CMakeList.txt file will be auto-generated for you. The content of this template file is now configurable in CLine. Go to Settings or Preferences if you are on macOS, Editor, File and Code Templates. Open the Other tab and edit the corresponding template there. This will affect the CMakeList.txt file that is located in the project root and is generated when creating a new project. If you want to update the template for CMakeList.txt files created later via the new CMakeList.txt command, Go to the File tab and update it there. CMake targets as before launch tasks. In CLine, run debug configurations are automatically created for all CMake targets and tasks in the project. By default, the only action performed before the configuration is launched is built. Chances are your setup is more complicated. You may want to perform some additional actions before the configuration launches, like running a script or installing binaries. In the Before Launch section of the Run Debug configuration, users can specify the tasks to be performed before starting the selected target. Started with CLine 2021.2, you can also choose to execute a CMake target there. Add a new task, select CMake target, and then specify which target to launch. Both building, like all clean and install, and user specified created via add executable or add custom targets will be suggested for you in the drop down. That's it for the CMake support updates in CLine 2021.2. Check out what else the new version brings at jetbrains.com slash CLine slash what's new. Download the update from our site via the Toolbox app via a snap for Ubuntu, or by using the patch update to update from the recent 2021.1 version. Use your active license or start a free 30-day trial to evaluate new features and enhancements. Thank you for watching.